As engineers, we study about 50 subjects in four years time. But how many of them do we actually use later in our career? To be honest, I haven't used any of them since I graduated. I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Eyes of Communications and an engineer by degree. In this video, I'm going to share with you the seven skills that you need to have as an engineer, whether you go for higher education, for a job or become an entrepreneur. So let's get started. The first skill I believe you need to have is information literacy. Information literacy here means to be able to look for information, make sense of it and apply as needed. In college, we are made to mug up a lot of formulas, definitions, equations, which we forget almost instantly the moment we're out of the examination hall. Instead, what's important is to know how to look for information, be it through books or online resources. Understand how to use them and then apply it to get the work done. When you go for a job, you will realize that there are a lot of things you need to learn from scratch, which you've never studied in college before. So the skill that you need here is to be able to go through company reports, online information, understand the technical details and apply that knowledge to perform your duties properly. If I share my personal experience with you, after my engineering, I joined Exxon Mobil as a materials engineer. And there were a lot of things I had to learn like technical terminologies, remember many safety standards and industry regulations to perform my day-to-day -day activities. And what helped me perform my role was information literacy. The second skill every engineer should have is good presentation skills. Presentation skills have been my most used skills after engineering. You need presentation skills when you're going for higher studies because you might get a lot of assignments which require you to deliver a presentation. In fact, if you're going for master's or PhD, you need to defend your thesis to be able to get that postgrad degree. And for that, presentation skills become very important. Even if you go for a job, you need to deliver presentations to your team members, colleagues, bosses, and a lot of people judge you in the workplace based on how you deliver these presentations. So if you do a good job, it immediately sets a very good impression about you. Now, if you're starting your own venture, presentation skills are almost indispensable. You need to deliver powerful presentations to pitch to your investors and clients. Personally, for me, presentation skills have been most useful for my higher studies, job in the industry. And now that I'm running an edtech startup where I conduct workshops for thousands of students, my presentation skills help me build a first positive impression in front of my audience. So if you wish to improve your presentation skills, you can check out my previous video or join me for one of my workshops. The link is given in the description. The third skill, which again is super useful, is your creative thinking ability. As engineers, wherever you go, your job is to find a solution to the problem. If you're going for higher studies and taking up research projects, you need to find a novel solution to a problem in the research field. If you go to the industry, then you're always firefighting and trying to resolve the bottlenecks which are coming up in the daily processes. And if you're an entrepreneur, well, you're expected to think out of the box and solve all the challenges arising in your business. So creative thinking ability is a very important skill. And how do you inculcate that? You can undertake research projects while you're still studying in college. You can also participate in hackathons, technical or business competitions, or go for internships. All these things will challenge your brain and help you improve your critical thinking ability. The fourth skill I'd like to talk about, which is cliched but indispensable, is good public speaking skills. Today, stats show that 90% of the engineers lack good communication skills, which is why a lot of them are unemployable and not fit for a job. Good public speaking skills doesn't mean you have to be somebody who's delivering speeches and TED Talks to a huge audience. Good public speaking skills here mean you should be somebody who's able to initiate conversations, explain your ideas and knowledge logically to the people, and have good communication skills to be delivering a presentation, negotiating with your clients, and speaking comfortably with your colleagues and seniors. Personally, for me, what I've noticed is that good communication skills in the workplace not only sets you apart from others, but also helps in avoiding miscommunication and builds a good rapport with your team members and clients. So if you wish to improve your communication skills, there are a bunch of videos that I have made earlier. 
You can check them out. The link is in the description. The next skill, which is also pretty important, is your analytical skills. As engineers, we are expected to be good with numbers and analysis. So building this skill will really help you in the long run. If you go for higher studies and you take up research projects, you need to analyze data to arrive at the results. If you go for a job, most of them nowadays require you to do some form of data analysis. And if you're an entrepreneur, well, you have to do data analysis to understand market share, market sizing, cash management, or even do some form of financial analysis. So building this skill is very important. And how can you do that? Well, a good place to start would be to learn Excel. And there are a bunch of courses which are available on Coursera, EDX, and there are also some dedicated YouTube channels for this. I will share the links in the description. But one thing you need to remember here is just learning the concepts is not enough. You need to take up a data set and practice because building your speed here is very important. And after that, if you want to explore more, you can practice some aptitude and logical reasoning questions and also solve some case study questions. Not only will it help you in developing your analytical skills, but it will also help you in preparing for your interviews and placements later on. The next skill I'd like to talk about is written communication skills. As an engineer, you would have to write reports time and again in your career, be it project reports in college or technical reports at your workplace. You might also have to write research papers and funding proposals, and all of them require you to have good technical writing skills. In fact, even before you join the industry or go to the university, you need to write a resume, cover letter, and a statement of purpose, which again tests your written communication skills. So while you're still studying in college and preparing for your career, spend some time to improve your written communication skills. Personally, for me, this is a skill I felt lagged when I was graduating from college. So in order to help you guys overcome this hurdle and not face the problems that I did, we offer a lot of workshops at Wise Up, which not only help you improve your written communication, but also your oral communication skills. You can check them out and also register for a free demo. Last but not the least is your basic computer software and programming skills. When you've decided what kind of career you're looking for, find out what are some of the basic softwares or programming languages which are indispensable for you to succeed in your career and make sure you learn them in advance. If I share my example with you, when I was doing my higher studies and conducting my research, there were few softwares that I had to use day in, day out. One was a reference management software called as EndNote. Another was a graph making software called Origin. Then I had to know some basics of PowerPoint, LaTeX and some Adobe Photoshop. So knowing all these programs and softwares from beforehand really helped me during my higher studies. Similarly, find out what are those softwares, those programming languages that you would need for your career and make sure you learn them beforehand. This will really make your life easier later on. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video gives you some understanding of the skills really worth building for your future. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all the very best for your career ahead.